Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 711. Already we have discussed two parts in this presentation, we will cover question from 51 to 75. This is part 3, there will be four parts of this test. Every test has, every test has four, test, uh, four parts. So question number 51. If 2 x square plus 1 by x square minus x minus 1 by x minus 7 is given, then we have to find the two value of x would be which can be possible. Now always it would be better idea if you can solve by option technique that would be easily you can solve here. If I put here let's say 1 then it would be equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2, 2 into 2, 4 minus 1 minus 1 that is 0. So it should be uh, it would become 0 minus 7. It is not possible that it would become 0. So x would be 1, uh, value of x would be always greater than 1 and greater than 1 is 2. So from the option C2, 2, 2 square minus minus 1 by x square that is 2 or 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 17 by 4, 17 by 4 into 2 that is 17 by 2 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 1.5 minus 7 is equal to it is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 value is 2 now we have to find the second value second value and we have to see 1 minus 1 by 2 because because here value of x square should be x square should be minus 1 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 that would be equal to 1 by 4 plus plus 1 by x square and that would be equal to you can say 4 so 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 17 by 4 again and if i multiply 2 that it would be two, it would become 17 by 2 minus 1 minus 2 and then it would become plus that would be equal to 2 so 3 by 2 that is 8.5 minus 1.5 minus 7 is equal to 0 so this is also possible this is also possible. however i said that it should be greater than 2 but if we are not um, but exactly exactly if i put here minus 1 by 2 it means x square should be x square should be in such a way that it should represent value of x a value in such a way that should be equal to greater than 4 greater than greater than 2 so answer would be in this case b other value if you put you will it will not uh, satisfy question number 52 if two men are on the opposite side of a tower they measure the angle of elevation of the toe of the tower 45 degree and 30 degree respectively if height of the tower is 40 meter then find the distance between these two and this should be equal to let's say this is 40 one is 45 angle and other is 30 other is 30 it's it means it would be equal to 40 why tangent 45 is equal to 1 this is 40 and this would be equal to 40 by x and tangent 30 that is 1 by root 3 in other words x would be equal to 40 root 3 in other words 40 plus 40 root 3 this should be the answer that is 40 plus 1.732 that should be equal to around 69 so answer should be equal to 109 something answer is d next question question number 53 a national highway is in a north south direction north south direction like north and south from a point on the highway school is situated in the north east direction and is at a distance of 600 root 2 meter from the point what is the perpendicular distance between the school and the highway now from a point on the highway a school is situated in the northeast direction, this is point northeast direction. This is northeast direction, and its distance is 600 root 2. This is northeast direction, 600 root 2. 
from the point what is the perpendicular distance from the school and the highway we have to find the value of this we have to find the value of this now this is 600 this is 600 root 2 this would be equal to north is that is 45 angle 45 angle 45 and you can say we have to find the value of x so x by 600 root 2 is equal to sine 45 that is 1, 1 by root 2 this is sine 45 and value of x would be equal to 600 in other words you can say 600 you can think in that term also that this is that this would be equal to 45 so it would be just like just like the diagonal of square answer is in this case 600 next question question number 54 a is to b is to c is equal to 2 root uh, 2 ratio 3 ratio 4 in other words you can say a by b that is 2 by 3 b by c 3 by 4 and c by a 4 by 2 c by a 4 by 2 you can get that should be equal to you can write here 2 also 2 by 1 also because 4 by 2 is equal to 2 so 12 8 9 24 8 9 24 should be the ratio answer is c this is equal to 8 9 24 next question question number 55 the expression x4 minus 2x square plus x, uh, plus k will be a perfect square when the value of k is this should be perfect square when will be square when we will have you can write x square in place of x4 in place you can write x square and in this place you can write minus 1 minus 1 square that should be equal to x4 minus plus 1 and then 2x square here minus 2x square is given so value of x would be equal to 1 answer is b next question question number 56 in a right circular cone this is right circular cone radius of its base is 7 centimeter this is 7 centimeter height is 24 height is 24 cross section is made through the midpoint this is midpoint that is 12 and 12 parallel to the base volume of the upper portion we have to find the value of this portion this portion we have to tell now this should be equal to this is 3.5 why because if this is to uh, this would be similar to angle to angle this is 12 this is total is 24 if this is uh, total 24 this is 7 then this would be equal to 3.5 you can say midpoint or midpoint this distance become, uh, this distance would become half so this is 3.4 now you can find the value of a 1 by 3 pi by 7 uh, pi is equal to 22 by 7 r square r is square that is 3.5 into 3.5 divided by 10 and 10 and h s is 12 so this should be equal to One hundred fifty-four. Answer is B. Next question, question number fifty-seven. ABC is a triangle in which A is equal to ninety degree. A is equal to ninety degree. You can write like this. Let P be any point on side A, B, and C. P B P be any point on the side A C. This is P. You can take. If BC is 10, AC is 8, and BP would be, we have to find the value of this. This is your 9. BP is 9. Then AP would be, we have to find the value of this, AP. Now, this is Pythagoras triplet you can use here. This is 8, this is 10, then this would be equal to 6. This should be equal to 6. This is 9. This is 6. This would be 9 square minus 6 square. That is 81 minus 36. 45. Root 45 is the value of AP. And that is equal to 3 
root 5. Answer is B. Next question, question number 58. The area of the largest circle that can be drawn inside a square. Inside a square, largest square that can be uh, drawn inside a square of side 28 meter. 28 meter, this is the side. So, radius would be 20, uh, 12, um, 14. Area would be equal to area would be equal to pi r square largest term that can be uh, done inside a square of side 28 that is 14 pi r square pi r square that is 14 into 14 That is 616 six should be the answer. Answer is D. 616 six should be the answer. Answer is D. Now the next question, question number 59. The perimeter of high square are 24, 32, 40, 76 and 80 centimeter respectively. High square parameter is given. The parameter of another square is equal in area to the sum of the area of this square. Sum of the area of this square. We have to find the parameter. So area would be equal to if if 24 is a parameter, then side would be 6. So area would be 6 into 6, that is 36. If here side would be 8, 8 into 8, 64. Side is 10, 10 into 10, 100. Area that is 19, 19 into 19, 361. Area. 20, 20 into 20, uh, that is 400 area. So total area would be equal to 6 plus 4, 10, 11. 4 plus 6, 10, 16. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9. This is area. You can say 31 root. 31 would be the side. 31 would be, would be the side. 31 into 31 that would be equal. So a parameter of this would be equal to 31 into 4 that is 124. Answer is C. Next question, question number 60. A plus 1 by A square is equal to 3. Then the find the value of this expression we have to find. Always think when A plus 1 by A is equal to root 3. This is root 3. Then it should be equal to a square a6 plus 1 is equal to 0. We will find when we cube on both sides, then we will have this ultimately. This you have to remember. Otherwise, you can find you cubing on both sides, then you will get ultimately this. But I am not going to tell, go to ba our basic chapter. In that you will find. So here you will find a24 and a6 plus 1. It means this would become, and here you can write a12 a6 plus 1 and here plus a6 plus 1 so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 answer would be 0 answer is 8 next question question number 61 if abc is a triangle right angle at b right angle at b and m and n are the midpoint of a and midpoint of a a, B and B, C. Then the, we have to find the value of this expression. What will be the value of this? So let's say this is 6, this is 8, this is 10. This would be 3, this would be 3, this is 4, this is 4. And we have to find A n square. A n square will be equal to here. This is A n square. N square. So 6 into 6, 6 36 plus 16. 52 52 root would be equal to a n square and here we will have c m square c m square would be equal to c and then m here this is 8 so 8 into 8 64 plus 9 73 73 and 
multiplied by here you can find 4. So here square of this would be equal to a n square means this would be equal to 125. 52 plus 73 125 and 4 here. 4. Now this is equal to 125 and 4 would be equal to 500. 500. So this is equal to AC square. AC is 10. Square of this would be 100. 5 AC square. This is equal to 5 AC square. Answer is B. We have just put value 6, 8, 10. We have made this according to Pythagoras separate and used accordingly. Question number 62. The ratio of an interior angle to the exterior angle of regular polygon is 2, 7 is to 2. 7x plus 2x is equal to 180, it means. Because in uh, sum of interior angle and exterior angle is equal to 180. 9x is equal to 100, x is equal to 20. So, exterior angle is 40. 360 divided by 40 would be equal to 9. So, number of side would be B, 9. Number of side is equal to 360 divided by exterior angle. Question number 63. If y is equal to x plus 1 by x, then we have to find the value of this becomes. Which is the true solution? Now you can put here x is equal to 1, then we will have 1 plus 1 that is 2. x is 1, y would be 2. So 1 plus 1 because x 1 power 4 would be equal to 1. 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is this is satisfying so x is 1 and y is equal to 2 see which is correctly representing if i put here x is equal to 1 then we will have 1 2 plus 2 that is 4 plus uh, 2 minus 4 because y we have taken 4 that should be equal to 4 plus 2 6 minus 2 it is not 0 now put the, this is not given in the equation format so put this uh, put value in this equation x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 then it would become 4 plus 2 minus 6 this would be equal to 0 0 into 1 0 so this is a correct representation answer would be c next question question number 64 if d e f are the midpoint of a b c c a a b of triangle a b c here you will have d e f are the midpoint of a triangle a b c a b and c d is midpoint of b c e midpoint of c a and a b midpoint f midpoint of a b f d e f if A D and B E, A D and B E, they are intersecting at G. Then A G, this is A G, B G, this is B G, and C G, this is C G, is equal to. We have to find the value of this. Now, or you can consider it, it, it as a equilateral triangle also for the simplicity reason. In that you will find or in any triangle you will find 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1. So it should be equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6. And if it is 6, it is 6, then we have to see that AD, this would be 3 then, this would be 3, this would be 3 and this would be 3. Why? Because this is 2 is to 1. So 3 plus 3 is plus 9. 9. So, A, D, B, E and C, F would be then 9. Then 9 would be equal to 2 by 3. If I multiply it by then it would become 6. So, 2 by 3 of A, D, B, E and C, F will satisfy. Answer is B. Next question, question number 65. Course A, B, B, C, C, D sustain angle of 80 degree, 60 degree and 70 degree respectively at the center O. Of the circle, then the acute angle between AC and BD would be. This is the circle. Code AB, BC, and CD. Code AB, here you will write A 
and B put BC here you write BC or CD here you write CD substantial angle 80 degree at center this is center so this is 80 degree you can say 80 degree this is 60 degree 60 BCC this is 70 degree this is 70 degree this is given at the center of the circle then the acute angle between AC and BD acute angle AC and BD we have to find so you can draw here we have to find angle acute angle between AC and BD AC AC and BD now this is acute angle so we have to find this it means in this triangle if we know value of this and this then we will know the value of this or you can say value of this and sum of would be sum of b and uh, here this and this would be equal to this so if we see from this uh, triangle if, um, base bc then this is 60 uh, just a minute if this is uh, from this triangle you see this is 70 then this would be equal to 35 why in base c d base c d angle formed at the center is 70 angle formed from this base this code at the circumference, the circumference would be 35 half of this would be 35 and here if you see angle formed at from a b base a b code angle formed at the at the this uh, center is 80 then angle formed at this here uh, would be equal to half that is 40 40 from this base this base a b if here this is 80 then at circumference it would be equal to 40 so if it is 80 this would be 40 40 plus 35 would be equal to this means 75 answer is b easy question but you have to uh, draw a diagram understand that angle formed at the center is uh, double as compared to angle formed at the circ circumference this property will be used question number 66 there are 576 boys and 448 girls in a school that are to be divided into equal section of either boys or either girls alone find the total number of sections thus formed so if you find the HCF of all these, HCF of 576 through division method you can find out 448, it would be equal to 448, then it should be 128 and then 448, and then it should be 128. So, 64 would be HCF. It means we can divide 576 by 64. Then it will be 9. So the group is the biggest would be 64 and there will be 9 group of boys and 448 divided by 64 then we will have 7 group 448, 7 group of girls. So 9 plus 7 that is 16 would be the total number of a group. Find the total number of sections that is 16, 9 boys, girls, girls 7. We have taken HC for both. It means the biggest factor would be biggest factor would be 64. Answer is C in this case 60, 16. Question number 67. Length of the diagonal BD of the parallelogram A B C D. A B C D A B, C and D, B, D is 12. P and Q are the centroid of A, B, C. A, B, C, centroid of it and A, D, C, A, D, C, P and Q. And this is 12, entire is 12. We have to find the length of the line P, Q. What is the value of PQ? So if this is 12, then this would be equal to 6 from this point to this 6, and that is 
n2 2 is 2 to 1 ratio that is this is 4 this would be 2 this is 4 this would be 2 so difference between these p and q would be equal to 4 answer is an a well this is 16 uh, this is 6 and this is 6 12 would be the value of bd and this would be then 2 and this would be 2 2 plus 2 4 difference uh, this value would be segment would be 4 next question question number 68 one angle of pentagon is 140 if the remaining angle in the ratio is 1 2 3 4 the size of the greatest angle we have to find the value of 4x you can say pentagon uh, interior angle would be equal to you can say exterior angle would would be 360 divided by 5 that is 72 and 180 minus 72 is equal to interior angle 108 number of interior angle would be 5 then total would be 540 so 540 is equal to 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 110 10 x is equal to 10 x is equal to 540 minus 140 why minus 140 because one already calculated that is 4 so 10 x is equal to 400 here value of x would be equal to 40 40 into 40 160 would be the value of this answer is c because one angle is already calculated the remaining is 400 that is equal to 10 x next question question number 69 simplified value of following expression we have to tell highly complicated expression is given we have to find the value of this now 3 by 15 you can write here 1 by 5 1 by 5 and here this is 5 so 1 by 9 you can write directly 1 by 9 is 5 and a that is a 6 b 6 and b 5 that is b uh, b 11 c 3 and c 4 c 7 divided by this 10 by 27 it will become 10 and 27 like this a square here you can write a square b and c3 so it will go by this 3 by 10 common and a6 minus a2 you can write a4 c7 b you can write c6 so, uh, sorry b11 and b that is 10 b10 you can write b10 and c7 minus 3 that is 4 this should be the answer answer is this is this is the answer c next question question number 70 water flows into a tank which is 200 meter long and 150 meter wide this is given length and breadth of a water tank through a pipe of cross section 0.3 m 0.2 m 0.2 m and at the rate 20 km per hour then the time in hours for the water level in the tank to reach 8 meter 8 meter so in this way you will find that this is cuboid water tank is cuboid lbh and this is h so 200 into 150 into 8 this is the volume of the tank and volume of water you can say pipe pipe uh, water would be in this 20 kilometer at the rate 20 kilometer per hour so this is equal to 0.3 you can write here 3 by 10 2 by 10 because everything is in meter here that is better idea now 20 kilometer it would be 20,000 meter in one hour so this would be the number of hour because in from one hour capacity we have multi we have divided the tank then we will get a number of hours and that should be equal to 2 3 this is 20,000 so 3 and 4 now and 200 200 D should be the answer in 200 200 hours the tank will be filled question number 71 from a right circular cylinder of radius 10 centimeter and height 21 centimeter a right circular cone of same base radius is removed 
If the volume of the remaining proportion is or remaining portion is 4400 cm cubic cm then height of the cone would be height of the cone from the right circular cone cylinder of radius this is cylinder and 10 cm is radius is the like this and height is 21 so this is the volume of you can say 22 pi r square that is 10 square and 21 volume of the cylinder and one circus, uh, cone is taken from this removed with the same base radius so 22 by 7 base radius 10 and square and square and if the volume of the remaining proportion is this is h we don't know which we have to find the value is equal to 4400 this is given according to the statement we have written like this so you can take common here 22 by 7 into 100 and it would be equal to 21 minus h is equal to 4400 that is equal to 2 7 into 2 uh, 14 so 21 plus 14 is equal to here you can we have to write 1 by 3 also because this is cone so h by 3 h by 3 21 plus h by 3 uh, uh, sorry minus h by 3 is equal to 14 in other words you can say 14 and 21 minus 14 this would be equal to 7 7 is equal to h by 3 h would be equal to 21 answer is c what we have done in this question volume of this cylinder minus volume of this which is given for uh, 4400 from this we can find the value of h next question question number 30, 72 base of right circular cone has the same radius as that of sphere both the sphere and the cone have the same volume height of the cone we have to find same volume it means 4 by 3 pi r square r cube is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h height of the cone we have to find and here same radius in place of radius we have to write a in fact a you can write here because r is equal to a so pi you can cancel pi 3 you can cancel 3 uh, a square you can cancel 4 a is equal to h answer is height of the cone is 4 a b should be the answer next question question number 73 if each of the radius of the base and the height of a cone is increased by 100 percent how many times is the new volume of the original volume so 1 by 3 pi r square you can write here 10 in place of r and s you can also write 10 so we have taken r is equal to 10 and s is equal to 10 for the simplicity reason and if it is increased 100 percent it means 1 by 3 pi and in place of 10 you write 20 square and in place of 10 write 20 for the simplicity reason we have taken 10 so now if it is 1000 it should be equal to 8000 new volume should be equal to 8000 means if it is 100 then it should be 800 8 times will be the new value increase is 7 times but it is we have find total volume would be equal to that is 8 times of the original answer is d next question question number 74 a wooden box without lid was external length breadth and height there is no lid in fact this is cubed word and here this lid is not given it means we have to take bottom but not top as the uh, as the wood is not given here if wood is 5 mm here this is 5 mm this is 5 mm find the volume of the wood used in making the box so this should be equal to volume of outer outer area uh, outer volume plus inner volume 
minus inner volume, we will find volume of wood. Outer volume would be equal to 11 into 9 into 7. Centimeter is given everywhere. And minus, so 5 mm plus 5 mm, that is 10 mm, which is equal to 1 centimeter. Which is equal to 1 centimeter. So it should be equal to 10 because this is 5 centimeter thick. It is equal to bread, uh, length, breadth would be 9 minus 1, 8 and this should be equal to 7 because this height and height we, we have to substitute only 0.5 um, that is 0.5 you can say this is 65 6.5 13 by 2 you can also write 13 point 13 by 2 that should be equal to 63 to 11 693 minus 520 and that is equal to 173 173 should be answer answer is A the next question question number 75 question number 75 let ABC an equilateral triangle Let's say equilateral triangle and AD perpendicular to BC, then AB square plus BC square plus C A square. We have to find the value of this. This would be wrong. Uh, now in ABC, A, B, and C, and AD is perpendicular. AD is perpendicular. Let's say this is 6, 6, this is 3 and 3 because perpendicular will divide this in equilateral triangle in two equal parts. For the simplicity reason, we have taken the value that is 6. Now we have to find the value of AB square. AB square that is 36 plus BC square. BC square that is 36 plus CA square. CA square that is 36. That is 160, 108. This is equal to in this format AD square. So AD would be equal to AD would be equal to root 3 by 2 A. Here A is 6 is equal to root 3 by 2 a is equal to h in other words you can say this is 3 root 3 3 root 3 ad so 3 root 3 108 is equal to here x because we have to find the value of 4 5 this is the factor and ad square ad square ad square would be equal to 3 into 3 9 into 3 27 value of x then would be equal to 4 4 ad square so this is equal to 4 ad square such kind of question you can solve by putting value that would be easy to calculate so in this presentation we have covered question counts uh, 51 to 75 in the next presentation we will cover question from 76 to 100 thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best